I'm Darren with muzzleloaders.com and I'm filming at Burris HQ and we're making a whole series on muzzleloading, which is something I'm very passionate about. And in this video, we're going to talk about troubleshooting your muzzleloader. So the first thing that you'll probably experience, and this is definitely one of the most common, and that is either a delayed ignition or a hang fire. And so we all know the feeling you pull the trigger, you hear a pop, but there's no bang. And this is going to be kind of what you want to do, uh, a procedure, if you will, for when that happens. And so whenever that happens, we recommend just keeping a firm grip on the muzzle loader, holding on to it and uh, making sure, and you do that for 30 seconds at least. Um, some people say 60, but usually I've found after 30, you're pretty much good to go. And if nothing happens, then uh, what you can do is you can take another primer, put it in there and try again. If you still have another hang fire, uh, what we recommend doing, pulling out the breech plug, um, drop all the powder and bullet and the contents, drop all that stuff out and then reload the muzzle loader. And uh, you'll want to make sure you check the flash hole of your breech plug because uh, if there's any sort of fouling or debris caught up in there, that can block the uh, spark from the powder charge. And so there's a variable there you wanna make sure you get ironed out. And then one quick note on CVA muzzle loaders is if you're using Blackhorn 209 with a CVA brake action and you're having ignition issues, double check and make sure that you're using the Blackhorn 209 breech plug. And that breech plug just has a larger flash hole and uh, that's gonna improve the consistency of ignition and it is not uncommon at all to have ignition problems when you're not using the Blackhorn breech plug with Blackhorn 209. And issue number two that you're probably gonna encounter at some point in your life, especially if you are a muzzleloader hunter in a state that has a lot of humidity or a lot of rain is wet powder. And this one's very infamous because uh, you know there's even a whole saying in muzzleloading, you know, keep your powder dry because wet powder is pretty much useless. So if you're having hang fire issues, we recommend just pulling out the breech plug and there's a few different ways to clear it like we just talked about. You can clear it from breech to muzzle or muzzle to breech. There's pros and cons to both. I usually clear from muzzle to breech and remove the breech plug. Um, the one thing you are want to keep an eye out if you do that is make sure you don't get any uh, black powder flakes or kernels in the threads of your breech and that can be easily solved with like a breech thread brush. Um, and if you go the other direction, you just want to make sure that uh, you don't accidentally knock your scope or something like that. Um, and uh, that way you can make sure you get that cleared safely. So those are the two main issues that we encounter in customer service. Um, and now there are some other issues uh, with regard to accuracy. So maybe you're not having any hang fire problems, but you're just getting bad groupings. And that is an extremely nuanced problem. There could be any number of things going on. Muzzle loading is a very uh, particular sport and uh, that's why we love it so much. But I just wanna run you through some of the common ones that a lot of people tend to overlook. Um, the first one being your primer choice. And so uh, if you're using a powder like Blackhorn 209, uh, that has a very high heat threshold, you wanna make sure you're using a Magnum primer, like a CCI 209 Magnum or a Federal 209A, because that is going to uh, efficiently ignite that powder. And uh, that way you're not having any partial burn which is where you're burning inconsistent amounts of powder, and that's gonna cause a lot of uh, inconsistencies in your standard deviation, causing bad groupings. Um, another one is if you're measuring by volume, uh, a lot of people will fill up their powder measure and then they'll tap it and then slide the thing over. And what happens there is you're actually getting inconsistent amounts of powder in your barrel each time. Um, and it's not huge inconsistencies, but that can definitely be a contributor to bad groupings. And then the last one, is uh, making sure you're cleaning your barrel consistently. Um, and sometimes, you know, it really depends on the muzzle loader. My personal philosophy around this is when I'm zeroing my muzzle loader, I'll clean in between each shot and use a primer to foul the barrel because oftentimes you'll have a little bit better accuracy with a slightly fouled barrel. And so if you clean, foul your barrel with a primer, load and shoot while you're trying to zero your muzzle loader, you'll probably have better results. Um, that is not necessary when once you already have it zeroed and you're just trying to shoot groups with it. Um, but when you're zeroing, a consistent uh, barrel is extremely important. And so, um, but even when you're not zeroing, making sure you're cleaning it relatively frequently, every three to five shots, I would say. Um, you could even run a dry patch in between just to keep some of that stuff down. And that's going to be really helpful and help contribute to a good accuracy. Well, that's about all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you have any issues that you've experienced that we didn't cover in this video, or if you have any questions regarding accuracy that we didn't cover, drop that in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other muzzleloader videos that we filmed this weekend. And we'll see you in the next video.